Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK, welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we are going to be creating the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT from the Too Fast, Too Furious movie. So to create this build, we are going to be using the brand new Bravado Gauntlet Classic, which was released with the Casino and Resort DLC. So as you can see, this is the perfect car to be using for this build. I did try it previously before a couple of years ago. I believe I used the Stallion back then because that was the closest um, car in GTA to use at the time. But now this bad boy has been released. It'd be rude not to create this car again using this Gauntlet Classic because this is a this is just amazingly close to the um, 70s Dodge Challenger. Uh, it just looks amazing. So, without any further ado, let's crack on with this build. And we're going to start with always 100% body armor. Brakes, we're going to get the race brakes. Bumpers. Front bumpers, uh, I don't think we're going to have to change this to be fair. But we'll have a quick look anyway. And, um, yeah, the one from Too Fast, Too Furious is pretty standard at the front. Um, there's no color coding. No splitters, nothing like that. Uh, it is just a straight chrome bumper. So we're going to stay stock for the front bumper. For the rear bumper, again, I doubt we're going to change it because they're just going to be the similar sort of options from the front, which they are. And it is a straight chrome bumper for in the movie. So we're going to stay stock for the rear bumper also. For the chassis, um, we are going to get a roll cage. And yeah, by the looks of it, it does look like they have bucket seats on the inside with um, red straps. So we will have to go with uh, one of these bucket seats with the red straps. And in that case, I think... I'm going to go with the Mark IV racing cage because those seats look the nicest to me. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I think Mark IV racing cage is probably going to be the best option. Like I said, the one in the movie does have bucket seats and they do have red harnesses. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Mark IV. But you can alternatively go with the Mark III if you prefer that one. Uh, but like I said, Mark IV is the one for me. Then we've got the engine. We are going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Exhausts. Uh, the stock exhausts actually look quite good. Um, but like I say, you can go titanium and all these other ones are pretty much the same except for when it goes to side exit. Uh, we don't want side exit. So I'm I'm pretty sure that it's a quad exhaust. So any of these first three options is a good one. Um, I like the look of the titanium tips. So I'm going to go with those bad boys. Then we've got the front fenders. Um, again, I felt I'm going to have to double check this. I don't think they do have the gills. Um, on the side fenders like that uh, but I could be wrong so again I'm just going to double check and looking back uh, the car from the movie does not have the gills so we're going to stay none for the front fenders then we've got the grill front grill um, this actually looks really close to what it is already um, that's actually quite good the, uh, the performance grill uh, but then the stock grill actually looks quite good too um the stock ones and the performance ones both look very similar to the one in the movie. Um, I think maybe the performance grill might be a little bit closer um, to the one from Too Fast, Too Furious. So, in that case, I am going to go... Do I want it though? Actually, I don't know, because the stock grill... Will that change colour? We don't want it to change colour. We kind of want it to stay like a chromey, silvery colour. Um... But then the performance grill actually looks a little bit closer. What we'll do quickly, I am going to purchase the secondary one and quickly change um, the color on the secondary and see what other colors it changes as well. So we might get, see that's, that goes black. Um, I think we might have to leave it um, the stock grill to be honest because we don't really need it to change color. So we'll go back to the grill and we will go stock and we'll stay stock for the grill. For the hood, uh, the hood as it is definitely is changing. Hopefully we can get like that, that T-shape hood, um, which is very close to the one from the movie. That's the bitch I was talking about. Yes, the twin intake hood. That is definitely the one we need to go for. So next we're going to go to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Uh, for liveries, like I said, hopefully we can get a livery to cover that. But the shape of that induction on the hood, the imprint on the hood, that's the shape of what needs to be black. And it doesn't look like we can get it, unfortunately. Uh, that is a bit of a pain. I think maybe the best we could do is probably get this. Uh, that might work, but I'll come back to the, to the livery for now. We'll leave that for the moment. Then we've got rear fenders 
Uh, the one in the movie doesn't have any rear fenders, so we're going to leave that stock also. So now we are going to go to the respray, and we are going to go with a classic color on this because we don't want any metallic um, pearlescent shines. So we're going to go classic, and we're going to grab an orange. But what orange we're going to get, I'm not quite sure yet. It's oh man, I think the actual that orange is actually a little bit too yellowy. Uh, I think Sunrise Orange is probably the best one to go with. So we're going to go Sunrise Orange. And then for the secondary colour, we're going to go matte for this one. And we're going to go matte black. Are we going to go matte black? We are going to go matte black. Fuck it. Let's go matte black for the secondary colour. And now we've changed the body colour. Let's quickly go back to the livery. And see, if we go Bravado, that's I was tr trying to think how we were going to try and get that um, black part on the hood. Um but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get it unfortunately we're just going to have to uh, lump it on this one and just uh, go without it at least we get the black uh, the black um, roof that's something I suppose but not being able to get that black insert on the hood is disappointing um, but yeah like I said it's one of them things and we'll just have to deal with it so uh, next we've got the roof um, oh okay so we get sun strips but we don't need any sun strips we don't need no louvers um, so everything in that section is redundant because the roof is already black so then we're going to go down to the skirts and hopefully we can change the color we can we're going to go primary custom skirt so uh, it gets rid of that chrome bit at the bottom which looks awesome then we've got spoilers uh, the one in the movie doesn't really have much of a spoiler I mean if it does have a spoiler it's very very minimal um, but it does have like a black uh, livery across the back lights and uh, it's unfortunate we can't get that either um, like I said but it doesn't have a spoiler so we are going to skip past the spoilers suspension uh, it being a muscle car I'm not going to go crazy with the suspension I don't think because that looks a bit nuts um, I think just lowered looks good stock suspension is pretty it's pretty sweet anyway because it's not riding terribly high uh, but I think lower suspension is enough competition suspension is way too low so yeah, lower suspension for that. Uh, transmission, we are going to get super transmission. And we also go get turbo tuning for the wheels. And we're going to go wheel type uh, into muscle. And the ones we're going to get are these bad boys. We're going to get the Asriel, Asriel rims. And then we're going to change the wheel color to alloy. And those look spot on. They look so good. Uh, tires, you do want to get the bulletproof tires if you can afford it and there is no window tint so that is the build my dudes and this is the 1970 Dodge Challenger for too fast too furious and this looks awesome man it looks so good and unfortunately it is night time so let's just quickly change that and um, get rid of this so we can actually see it in its in all its beauty no we want noon there we go that's better so we can freeze time and it won't change awesome there we go now we can actually see it in all its glory and this looks so good man it looks so so fucking close to the one from too fast too furious it's just a shame we can't get that livery on the hood that we need uh, you see the, the shape of the of the induction that's the shape we need and that's the bit that we need black and it's a real shame that we can't get that uh, but everything else is spot on man all the way down to the the bumpers the seats the wheels and even the, the roof, man, where we can make, actually make it matte black. It looks so fucking close to that to that one from the movie. It is unreal. And I love it. That looks really, really good. I'm so glad that Rockstar are bringing out um, more and more cars, which are closer to real life. Um, because, obviously, they have no licensing. And back in the early days of GTA, they didn't really have uh, many cars that actually looked like real life cars. Uh, but now more time and time is going on Rockstar are getting closer and closer to actually releasing cars which actually look like real life cars um, this being one of them and obviously the Hellfire being another and there's countless amounts now which are being brought out which actually look like real real life cars which is awesome and the fact that they're bringing out cars to do with 
Fast and the Furious franchise is amazing. They've been doing that for a few years now. And um, But yeah, I love it, man. It's awesome. It makes my job a lot easier as well, creating these builds. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be the end of, the video, of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.